Hi everyone, it's Susan from SusanWinter.net. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm doing more question and answer now, and I, I mean, I'm loving this format. You know why? Because I know that for every one question that's asked, it is in the thoughts and minds of a thousand other people. So rather than me picking what I think you want to hear, I love knowing exactly what you need to hear. So this question today is from Richard Gonzalez. Richard, thank you so much. Great question. I love it. Uh, he says, hi, Susan. I really love the advice that you give, and I'd appreciate, and I'm sure other viewers of your channel would too, your thoughts on how to handle an on and off again relationship that's been going on for a few months or a few years. I'd really love your insight on it. Richard, thank you. This is brilliant. And you know what's funny? Those of us in my profession, I think we get clusters of clients that are all kind of, they come in at the same time. They have the same issue. Like a couple weeks ago, it was not being treated like a priority. And then about 10 days ago, I had a bunch of clients come in and it was all about power struggles with their mate. And this week has been about these on and off again relationships and what they're all about. So, Richard, first of all, I will tell you the dynamics of what is happening here, its structure, and what wants to happen. Okay, not for nothing. Either one of you could have walked away and stayed away. You could have maintained the off position, but you don't. So let's think about this. Why does that happen? Are you both inherently lazy? Maybe not. Are you both the only two single people in your entire community? Probably not. A thousand other things that you might think are keeping you there, and the truth is much more interesting and much more dynamic, that fundamentally within the archetype of a relationship is your birth, your growth, and your evolution. It's just played out on this platform so beautifully, for me, I think, at least. It is so easy to see how what is required of both of you is to transcend who you were and come back to the table as different people. So you're going to stay in a double lock until you do this. Now remember, I'm not dealing with your partner, but I can talk to you. So I promise you that you can take two people where one person has very few skills, lots of game, lots of confusion, lots of disruptive behavior, and you can get this person a little bit better educated give them a few amendments to what they were formerly doing, and they can affect this other partner that was seemingly hopeless, okay? So what's happened is you're in second, you're, you're, you're idling between second and third gear. You're trying to get back and forth. You'd love to be at cruising speed. Here's what's required. You need to come back in the on period as a new you. That means... In the off period, develop yourself. Start reading books. Read about conflict resolution. Read about boundaries. Read about love and compassion. Whatever you think, honestly, has been your weakness in this relationship. As you evaluate it, go and do your work in the off cycle. Because if you come back slightly different, we want to reboot this relationship. And the only way to reboot the relationship is for you to have a different reaction, a different conversation, to create a different outcome. That gets you guys out of this stasis and, and the lock of not being able to move forward. All these on and off again relationships are crafted to <laughs> frustrate you to no end, but to make you keep going back to the drawing board and going, okay, that didn't work, what would work? If you're too serious, try humor. If you were not liking any kind of conflict, then deal with conflict resolution. If you are dictatorial, work on being a negotiator. I mean, whatever you were doing formerly, try to do something different. That is the key that will loosen that going between the two gears and get you to the next level. And the beautiful thing about this is that when you unlock yourself, you free your partner. It's this incredible dance between you and the other person. And I know it can be frustrating, and I know it can be confusing. 
But remember, an informed dater, such as yourself, has the ability to affect the change you need in your partner. At least figure out when you're at top gear, how and what you have here. You'll never know and you'll never have a sense of resolution. You can't walk away from something if you haven't seen what could possibly be here. But most of that lies in your capacity to be the best person you can be while you're there and to deal with these situations. So take an honest inventory of where you get stuck. Work hard to correct that and try anything that's different to reboot. This is how you get out of the stalemate and this is how you evolve to the next level. And I really appreciate this question because a lot of us can get involved in that. And so if you want to know how to do that, I encourage you, use your insurance, get a therapist. If you want to talk to me, please check my consultation page. Sometimes you need an outside person to help you adjust it. If you can do it on your own, that is fantastic. Remember, you have to be a little different. Your approach has to be different. That breaks the stalemate. Thank you so much, Richard, and thank you all for tuning into this channel and for your lovely comments. I wish you well.